I took these photos about a month and a half ago, and I've been lazy in transferring them from my uh, tablet, which is what I usually use to take pictures in the kitchen, uh, to my computer. But since I had to transfer the video of the garbage pot dinner, I also found these. And so I said, oh, I better make sure that I get these included. So about a month and a half ago, uh, I was at Target and I checked the clearance shelf like I always do in the grocery section. And they had the Jet Puffed Star Mallows marshmallows on clearance. This was because they were out for uh, 4th of July and July went and August went and now we're getting into September and that's, you know, past the shelf life. So uh, they threw them over onto the clearance shelf. I, I believe these were like 64 cents for a bag, an eight ounce bag of marshmallows. And an eight ounce bag of marshmallows is just about what you need to make Rice Krispie treats. I had never myself made Rice Krispie treats um, since I've grown up. When I was a kid, I helped my mom make Rice Krispie treats and we used to do fun stuff like throw peanut butter in with it or chocolate chips. And I wanted to make, you know, I saw that the marshmallows were on sale and I had recently seen at the cafeteria at work a cinnamon toast crunch marshmallow cereal bar where it's basically a Rice Krispie treat. But instead of Rice Krispies, it's cinnamon toast crunch. So I said, OK, let's use a different cereal. And uh, it just so happened that multigrain Cheerios and Life were on sale. So I bought two packs of marshmallows and uh, I made this uh, twice. Uh, the Cheerios were the first one I did. I don't remember. I honestly can't remember which one I made first. But anyway, we get yourself a box of cereal. Uh, you need about six cups worth of cereal and each cereal is going to be slightly different as to um, how many ounces so here you can see this is a nine ounce box of cereal how many ounces are going to make six cups so what you do is you look at the back usually the serving size is listed as you know about a quarter cup or half a cup or whatever and then servings per container equals blah so just multiply amount per serving by servings per container and you get x amount of cups so I know that this 9-ounce box of multigrain Cheerios has plenty of Cheerios to make 6 cups. And again, um, the marshmallow, the bag of marshmallows is a little bit fewer marshmallows, I believe, than you normally use. I think it's like 9 or 10 ounces of uh, marshmallows. But anyway, it's close enough and it works. We'll see. So what you do, ooh, come on. There we go. Uh, you measure out 6 cups of cereal. Uh, it's difficult to see here, but that's actually a very large bowl. And those are very small Cheerios inside of that bowl. But there are six cups there. Next to it is a cake pan. And you can just barely make out like the little spots from the nonstick cooking spray that I sprayed in there. Uh, melt uh, some butter, one or two tablespoons of butter. I forget how much exactly in a pot. And then once the butter is melted, you throw in the marshmallows. And it's very important uh, this was my first one. Now I remember this is the first time I made it because the second time I made it, I made a stupid mistake. So in this one, uh, you, you have to keep the heat low medium because if you cook it too high, and this was the problem that I had the second time I made this, I didn't have any butter in the fridge. So I was using frozen butter. And for whatever reason, um, I just turned the stove top, the range onto high. So I threw the butter in, the butter was melted, so then I threw the marshmallows in. And if the heat is too high, the marshmallows will caramelize. So the sugar will melt, and then it will turn into caramel. Or caramel. Kind of. And uh, this time I did it correctly. So this is on medium heat, the marshmallows will slowly melt. You just stir them around. The butter is there to help um, with the melting process as well. And when you're using something like this, where it's a bunch of multicolored marshmallows, um, this is it. You can see getting over time that each of them is starting to melt. And you can start seeing like right here where it's kind of purple. This entire thing will turn into uh, a purpley mess. And I really wish that I had taken a picture of it. But um, once it gets melted down, uh, there's, a, there's a window here. So you melt these down 
And once this turned into a big purple mess, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I didn't take a picture of it. Um, you then throw the, you take it off the heat, you throw the cereal into the uh, pot, and then you stir it up very well, uh, making sure to spread those marshmallows all over the cereal. And then you, uh, now this is the reason why I couldn't take pictures of it. Once it hit the perfect temperature, I was too focused on grabbing the cereal, dumping it in the pot, then stirring it up, don't have free hands to take a picture, and then dumping it into the pan and smoothing it out. And you have to do that all while the uh, marshmallows are still melty. So what happens is you, you dump it into the cake pan and you spread it out. And because you're using these larger pieces of cereal, you can see the strings of the marshmallow. If you have a bunch of tiny little Rice Krispies, they stir into the marshmallows in a, in a much different uh, conformation than you do here. And you can see the purplish hue from all of that, uh, from the pink and blue stars melting together. So it creates this unusual color, but they taste just fine. Uh, the one problem with this is actually the Cheerios are a bit hard. It's not that they were hard. It's just they're harder than Rice Krispies. And so you de you have to get a little bit more of a bite into it if you want to uh, if you want to eat it. But yeah, so I didn't I neglected to take pictures of those middle those very last crucial steps because it was just too time constrained. And I didn't have a second cameraman. But there you go. You can just mix them up, toss them in a pot, and then you let them cool, stick them in the fridge um, so that the marshmallows cool off completely and harden into place. And then you just cut them up and eat them. They were good. I liked them. All right. Back here. Until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>